Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another GZ Doom tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about reflections, and specifically what that is in GZ Doom, is you can make the floor and the ceiling reflective, and we are going to build a very simple scene to uh, showcase that. So, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to make a hallway coming off of here, so we're just going to do Control shift d and we're just going to, you know, drag it out a little bit there and then we're going to hit s to go into sector mode and we're going to right click the sector go to colors and we're going to turn all of this off okay and now we are going to do Control shift d again and we're going to make a eh, let's just make like a little doorway here and i'm not really sure how big we're going to make this room but oh it's really gonna be like that huh? actually that that does actually make sense that it would be like that all right yeah that should do okay so i'm gonna zoom in here a little bit and i'm just gonna put a couple 64 actually just gonna control v and paste that around there we go. Not really putting these in, you know, any particular spot. Just kind of throwing them all in there. Okay. And then I'm going to select each of them. Not the floor, though. And I'm just going to raise them up until they... Okay. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the line defs because, you know, we want them to have a... Uh, we want them all to have a texture here. So we're going to go into the back, and we're just going to look for... Ah, I have to go to base there. There we go. We're looking for the spark texture. Nice. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, and we're going to hit S, and we're going to select... Make sure these are all deselected. We're going to right-click... And we'll go to surfaces. So now that we have our room and we can actually show off, you know, reflections and all that's more than just the walls, um, you'll see that the floor and the ceiling can have different levels of reflectivity. It goes from zero to one. And, you know, if you do like, you know, zero, it's no reflection. One is full reflection like a mirror. So I think for the ceiling, we'll do a full reflection there. And then for the floor, we'll do 0 0.2. And then we'll just hit play really quick. And we'll turn around and we'll run in here. And you can kind of see that even at 0 0.2, you can see the floor. And if you look straight up, it is absolutely perfect reflection. And yes, it is quite something there. Behold. Um, there's also that. However, so if we were to, you know, exit this and go into this room and look, you know, that's actually... You know, it's perfectly fine. It's because the ceiling is absolutely 100% reflective. It is perfectly mirroring the floor. So we'll just let's just get rid of the reflectivity on the, uh, the ceiling and open it back up. I do love how quickly it loads. There we go. So now we have a... Yeah, you can see that it's very reflective. Now, one thing to note, if you have a bunch of enemies on screen, uh, depending on your hardware, it may or may not lag. Uh, but you can do quite a lot of very cool stuff with this. Um, I don't particularly use it that often because it's not very, you know, like Doom. And you can only, you can do it on quite a bit of surfaces, but, uh, well, actually anything that's a floor or a ceiling. Uh, but it doesn't work correct. Well, no, it's not that it doesn't work correctly. It just might not look right depending on what your texture is. And of course, you know, there's no real reason probably to ever set this to one. Because, I mean, look at this. This is kind of like crazy. It's like walking on a mirror, a perfect mirror. So that is a very quick video for today. Just how to do reflect floor reflections and ceiling reflections. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And y'all have a good one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. 
If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.